Good Thursday afternoon, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner. For those of you keeping track, this is our Thursday midday edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Currently looking at some very mild conditions across much of the Mid-South at this time. Some very pleasant conditions for lunch outdoors if you're going to be heading outside for that. Getting errands done this afternoon, whatever you've got in mind. Things are looking very nice out there for the rest of the day. Currently looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Haven't seen numbers like this in quite some time. It's for the rest of the day. Should be looking at temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s and low temperatures by the time we hit tonight, early tomorrow morning, only back in the mid 60s thanks to those winds switching around to the south at about maybe 5 to 15 miles per hour today, helping to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit over the next several days. So we should be seeing again some fairly nice conditions out there, but also looking at some warmer conditions on the way. We'll take a look at that and take a look into the holiday weekend forecast coming up here in just a little bit view from Germantown looks very nice temperatures again back in the mid to upper 60s humidity up there a little bit after the morning moisture we had with leftover showers out there 55 percent winds northwest at about 12 miles per hour and 68 degrees with just a few clouds out around the horizon looking back toward the area in and around the towers of east memphis around mendenhall plenty of blue sky with a few clouds around rhodes college in memphis things are very much on the quiet side dry as well and not seeing too much in the way of rainfall for any time soon but as we get into the next couple of days we could see some more activity on that we'll talk about that in just a little while as well mineral wells mississippi things very much on the quiet side at tim b's webcam that's just outside of olive branch mississippi and a few blue skies drifting on through there. Golfers galore out at Windy Country Club in southeast Memphis, and things looking very good for a round of golf early this afternoon, so no problems being seen there. Let's go ahead and get into the forecast. Sorry about the screen freeze. This is what happens when we are still live, by the way, so just sorry about that happening. We do have, again, uh, the possibility of some very light amounts of cloud cover out there from time to time throughout the course of the rest of the day, but so far we're just not seeing too much in the way of cloudy skies now, later on tonight, tomorrow, that's where we see the potential of more clouds and also some rainfall heading our direction, but nothing showing up through this evening, so outdoors, heading out for dinner and a show later on tonight, graduation, practices, or ceremonies going on outdoors tonight, looks like a good evening for that. Temperatures by 8 p.m. back in the high 60s to around the lower 70s, getting into around the area of tonight at News Channel 3 at 10. Jim Jagger's complete forecast going on lower 60s around Bolivar, back toward Corinth, back into around the Dyersburg area as well. Could be some fairly cool conditions there and back in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s elsewhere across the Mid-South. Tomorrow morning, News Channel 3's Todd Demers with your daybreak forecast starting bright and early at 4.30 in the morning. Stop by for more information about what's going to be going on through Friday and into the rest of the weekend and more details showing up with numbers back into the lower to mid 60s fairly pleasant again not too much of a problem with those winds turning back around out of the southwest as you can see again here we're going to be looking at much warmer temperatures much quicker tomorrow temperatures going back into around the lower 80s as we get into tomorrow around lunchtime so heading into a holiday weekend things look relatively okay very warm tomorrow with those winds out of the southwest we'll be looking at temperatures back into the upper 80s to right around the lower 90s. So very much on the warmer side by the time everybody gets out of school or work on Friday. Very pleasant conditions out there. And then by Friday night into Saturday, this is where we start to see again the potential of more rain showers, those green blobs that you see on screen moving this direction. That's going to be the chances of rainfall starting to increase across the Mid-South. And that's going to be in advance of what looks to be a fairly rainy weekend coming our way. I don't think it's going to be a washout. I think that by the time we hit Memorial Day. There'll be some leftover showers and thunderstorms, but we will also see again the potential of some rainfall early on Memorial Day and unfortunately through much of the rest of the weekend. So if you have outdoor plans for grilling, definitely want to be able to get back indoors again, especially as we see the potential of some stronger storms heading our direction. Rest of the day today, again, brilliantly beautiful blue skies, sunshine, a few clouds drifting on through. Germantown Parkway in the background over here, looking back toward I-40 and around the area of Highway 64 and Stage Road with a few clouds drifting on through. Those winds will continue to be breezy in the red bar. You'll see that 
again through the rest of the day today and into later on this afternoon and into this evening. So some very pleasant conditions for out and about. Field day for the schools, field trips going on, graduation practices, whatever you've got happening today, things look great, no problems at all. So it looks like we're going to have no problems to worry about for today. Rest of the weekend, that could be a bit of a problem. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day and on our weather app that's going to be available at the App Store. Whatever platform you've got, just go to your App Store and search WREG Weather and you can find out more about keeping track with weather in the Mid-South. Follow along with my forecast bright and early tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh on AM 730's Talk Back Live starting bright and early at about 7 o'clock in the morning. And don't forget about my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend coming up on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and of course on all these social media network channels all available there. Rest of the day looks good. I've got to head on out because in just a few minutes we've got News Channel 3 at noon so stay tuned for more on that. And we'll have more details in your forecast tonight on First at Four and following with Tim and Jim so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee with a quick weather update of our video weather blog Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day and throughout the rest of the holiday weekend.